Previously, we have talked about how you can export cow milk to the European Union and China which are the highest importers of cow milk products. In this video, we will be talking about how you can perfectly package cow milk for export. Milk can be packaged in a variety of materials in many different sizes and shapes. Commercial containers used to package milk for export include glass bottles, plastic coated paperboard, blow mold non-returnable polyethylene P containers, plastic pouches, and returnable rigid polycarbonate containers. As we all know cow milk is a highly perishable product, hence the need for standard packaging to avoid loss. The first known method of packaging milk was glass. In 1884, H. D. Thatcher introduced the packaging of cow milk in glass bottle. This first milk bottle was a relatively heavy container which was not too good for exporting cow milk in large quantity. Research between 1920 and 1940 led to introduction of newer lightweight bottles. Lightweight bottles were more economical, saved space, and had smaller closure. Glass bottles are reusable except when chipped or broken and must be reused about 30 times before they are replaced. Waxed or plasticized paper was also introduced as a cheaper alternative to packaged cow milk. It became commercially available in 1929 but these single-service containers were not used widely until the mid-40s. In 1961, nearly 90% of fluid milk packages were made from paper. At this time most of the paper was coated with wax. But because of a concern that the wax might contain carcinogenic materials, polyethylene P coatings were quickly introduced. It was later discovered that polyethylene laminated to paper offers numerous advantages over wax-coated containers. Paperboard offers more protection from the damaging effect of light rays than any of the other currently used packaging materials for fluid cow milk, but it is biodegradable in about six months. Moving forward to this present era, much of the packaging for cow milk today employs plastic films and blow molded containers. The single service high density P container blow molded in the dairy plant was introduced commercially in 1964. In 1970, the pea pouch sachet was considered the new packaging innovation for fluid cow milk. This pouch is made on vertical form, fill, and seal equipment. Plastic containers usually require no sterilization prior to filling and can be reused for a very very long period of time. However manufacturers of plastic cow milk containers are looking at the possibility of making containers lesser than 55 grams in weight while maintaining mechanical strength as this will ensure more liquid cow milks can be distributed worldwide which automatically reduces transportation cost and increases profit. Cow milk packaging concerns There are many problems related to packaging milk products. Some of them include sanitation, packaging machinery, mechanical testing, toxicology and migration, temperature, humidity, light, plastic reuse containers, packaging expense, and ecology of milk packaging. Keep watching as we discuss some basic packaging concerns. Sanitation As a cow milk exporter, you are solely responsible for cleanliness of reuse containers. Legislation for cow milk exportation across the world requires that only virgin materials be used, no recycled materials are permitted however, the degree of sanitation maintained in the internal environment is dependent on several factors which are Effectiveness of the enclosure barrier The extent to which sanitary practices are employed Numbers and types of contamination sources during packaging Use and effectiveness of contamination control techniques Packaging machinery Cow milk packaging operations can vary from manual to fully automatic. Note that equipment may be a factor in product contamination. During the filling operation containers mechanically are filled, sealed, and often cased. We strongly advise exporters to evaluate their entire packaging operation at regular intervals with the aim toward maximum efficiency at minimum cost. Mechanical testing it is very essential that the package should not leak and be capable of withstanding various mechanical stresses. However, there is no substitute for actual testing of the finished filled package before sending it for exportation. We will talk about packaging concerns in the next video. Hope you learned a great deal watching this video.